Mae West, a luminary of classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape with her distinctive presence and wit. The question of a defining career moment invites contemplation amidst a vast repertoire of legendary works. For many, West's impact extends beyond the screen, resonating in cherished memories that evoke the essence of an era. Whether encapsulated in a particular performance or an off-screen encounter, West's influence endures, prompting reflection on the multifaceted dimensions of her contribution to the cinematic tapestry. Now we turn the spotlight to you. What stands out in your memory as a personal connection to Mae West's legacy? Was it a memorable cinematic experience or perhaps an encounter that etched her image into your own narrative? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your insights contribute to the collective appreciation of a Hollywood icon. Mae West, a trailblazing actress known for her bold persona, made a significant mark on Broadway in 1918. Cast opposite Ed Wynn and Arthur Hammerstein's, sometime she introduced the shimmy dance to the stage. Originating from black calves in Chicago, the shimmy focused on shoulder, torso, and pelvis movements rather than footwork. This daring introduction showcased West's inclination for pushing boundaries early in her career. Moving forward, West's on-screen chemistry with W.C. Fields and My Little Chickadee garnered praise from critics. However, behind the scenes, their relationship was far from amicable. Despite their effective collaboration on camera, the two couldn't stand each other off-screen, adding a layer of complexity to their professional dynamic. Beyond her cinematic endeavors, Mae West found herself in unexpected presence on the Beatles' iconic album cover, SGT Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Initially hesitant to be associated with a Lonely Hearts Club, she reconsidered when personally requested by the Beatles. This unconventional connection highlights West's influence, transcending the realms of both film and music. In exploring Mae West's journey, from the introduction of the shimmy on Broadway to the complexities of her relationships off-screen, and her unexpected appearance on a Beatles album cover, we witness a multifaceted figure who left an indelible mark on entertainment. Mae West, renowned for her bold presence in entertainment, led a life beyond the spotlight. Contrary to the glamour often associated with Hollywood, West chose to abstain from smoking or drinking. This surprising choice set her apart in an industry known for its vices. In an unexpected twist, Jerry Orbach, famed for his role as Detective Lenny Briscoe in the Law and Order series, served as West's chauffeur at a certain point in her life. This lesser-known connection adds a layer of intrigue to West's personal history, showcasing the diverse intersections of lives within the entertainment world. Remarkably, May West's final days held a poignant connection with her co-star George Raff. She passed away just two days before Raff, with whom she shared the screen in both Night After Night and Sextet. This timing adds a poignant note to their on-screen collaborations, leaving fans with a lasting memory of their intertwined fates. May West's life, marked by unconventional choices and unexpected connections, reveals a woman who navigated the complexities of fame with a unique approach. From her abstinence in an era of excess to the intriguing chauffeur choice and the uncanny timing of her passing in relation to George Raft, West's story goes beyond the silver screen. In exploring these facets, we uncover a Mae West who defied norms, leaving an indelible mark not only on entertainment, but on the intricate tapestry of her own life. When W.C. Fields referred to her as my little broodmare, Mae West's reaction nearly turned physical. Their on-screen chemistry, praised by critics, masked an off-screen tension that culminated in a provocative encounter. West, known for pushing boundaries, didn't shy away from defending herself against Fields' derogatory remark. This incident sheds light on the complex dynamics behind the scenes, revealing a side of West's assertiveness not often portrayed in the public eye. Beyond her confrontations, West's iconic walk, famously one foot at a time, held a unique origin. According to Tony Curtis, during her early stage career, six-inch platforms adorned her shoes, enhancing her stage presence. This distinctive walk became a trademark, symbolizing West's deliberate choices to stand out in an industry known for conformity. The physicality of her performance mirrored her determination to leave a lasting impression. Delving into West's career, her play sex opened in 1926 at Dolly's 63rd Street Theater, a venue ironically built by Christian societies for biblical presentations. The juxtaposition of West Frank, sexual innuendo lace play in a theater originally intended for religious purposes adds a layer of irony to her artistic choices. This bold move exemplifies West's penchant for challenging societal norms, even within the confines of historical spaces. 
in examining these facets of Mae West's life or confrontations with W.C. Fields, the evolution of her iconic walk, and the provocative staging of Sex We uncover a woman who navigated the entertainment industry with defiance and purpose. Each aspect reveals a different dimension of West's persona, showcasing a resilience that went beyond the scripts and stages she inhabited. Mae West's legacy extends far beyond the silver screen, a testament to her indomitable spirit in the face of societal expectations. Mae West, a Broadway sensation, and later a Paramount Pictures signee, had an unexpected impact during World War II. Her name became synonymous with military equipment. The Royal Air Force dubbed their inflatable life jackets Mae Wests, and us soldiers referred to twin turreted combat tanks as the same. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood and the stages of Broadway, West's legacy extended to the battlefields, leaving an enduring mark on military jargon and equipment nomenclature. Unveiling the lesser known facets of her influence, this article delves into Mae West's unexpected role in wartime terminology showcasing a dimension of her impact that goes beyond the realms of entertainment. Mae West's influence, it appears, reached far beyond the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark in unexpected places. Mae West's impact on Hollywood goes beyond the screen, reaching unexpected places. One such facet of her influence lies in the iconic Coca-Cola bottle design. Rumored to be inspired by West's figure, this ubiquitous beverage container carries a subtle yet lasting connection to the trailblazing actress. Delving further into West's life, her residence at Ravenswood Apartments on Rossmore Avenue stands as a historical testament. This iconic building housed not only West, but also notable figures like Alice Faye, Clark Gable, and Judy Garland. It was a hub of creativity and star power, reflecting the vibrant era in which West thrived. Additionally, West's legal brush with authorities in April 1927 sheds light on her fearless nature. Convicted of producing an immoral play titled Sex, she faced a 10-day jail sentence in New York City. However, her sentence was slightly mitigated for good behavior, showcasing West's resilience even in the face of societal norms. From inspiring a beverage bottle design to making waves in courtroom dramas, May West's story unfolds beyond the silver screen. These lesser-known aspects contribute to a richer understanding of her enduring legacy in Hollywood and beyond. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves in the lingering presence of an enigmatic star whose allure transcends the silver screen. Mae West, a luminary of timeless charisma, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Now, as we bid adieu to this moment of shared reflection, I implore you, dear reader, to traverse the corridors of your memory. Cast your mind back to the flickering scenes where Mae West, with her sultry wit and magnetic presence, captured the essence of an era. Perhaps it was the sizzling banter that ignited the screen or the unapologetic audacity that became synonymous with her name. In the midst of your recollections, find that thread that ties you to the essence of Mae West's performance as a connection that transcends time and space. This is an invitation to unearth the gems of your personal journey with Mae West to revisit the cinematic landscapes where her brilliance shone brightest. Reflect on the laughter she elicited, the poignant moments etched in your heart, and the profound impact her artistry had on your appreciation of the silver screen. As the chapters of reminiscence unfold, I encourage you to share your treasured memories and thoughts. Let your words become a testament to the enduring legacy of a trailblazer who dared to defy conventions and carved her own path through the annals of entertainment. Your reflections are not merely musings. They are tributes to an icon whose influence echoes through the corridors of time. In closing, let us collectively extend our gratitude to Mae West, whose artistic brilliance has woven a tapestry of inspiration for generations to come. Thank you, dear reader, for indulging in this journey of reflection and celebration. Until we meet again on the stage of shared memories, may the spirit of Mae West continue to sparkle in the recesses of your cinematic heart.